So what's up guys, uh, welcome back to Cyber Boy Gadam Slink. How you not doing now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Today is the last day of uh, the national protest. Today, apparently, is the last day of the national protest. You know, they announced that they will be protesting for 10 days from August 1st to August 10th. So today is the last day of the national protest. So I don't know what we have gained so far, of course. For those of us who did a peaceful protest, I am sure we have uh, we have heard our frustration to the government. And let us hope the government will do the needful. Well, for some people, I do not think the protest will end. Though I think uh, they will continue continuously doing the protest, but I do not know. But today is the tenth day, the last day of for the protest. So let's see what will happen from today tomorrow and uh no let's just be watching and apart from that guys let's discuss some bandits online some bandits online you and i agree if the police or the security agencies are looking for anybody online in less than 24 hours, or let me say approximately 42 hours, eh? in less than 42 hours, almost two days, they will immediately track that person down and arrest that person. As long as that person posts on TikTok, posts on social media, they can trace the IP address to determine where that person was taking that video or photo from. But how come Bandits can wholeheartedly, without fear, do a live video on TikTok, do uh, post uh, pictures online of the ransom that they collected, post so many things online. Yet, Nigerians are asking, why can't you get this guy arrested? Because they are inviting you to arrest them. Yes, the details are better. Come arrest us. See where we did. Come arrest us. But you guys cannot get them arrested. Like this guy now. You see, he posts money. One one thousand naira note. No be Niger currency be this one. No be Benin Republic currency be this one. No be Ghana currency be this one. This is Nigeria currency. All Nigeria currency. The old note and the new note. You see them? The old note and the new note. So this video was recent. These pictures are recent. These guys are still working freely in the bush. Ibu stand for front of a uh, uh, corn. These videos are recent. And nothing is being done. Nobody will do them anything. The other video we saw was one of the bandits coming online, live, wearing the uniform of, the, uh, of uh, the Nigerian army. Coming on live, sharing money. <laughs> he came on live, he was asking people to drop their account, and he was giving out money, sending money to people's account. Bandito. Sending money to people's account in this country, you see the 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 the, the boldness, like nothing they happen. No matter if you talk Christianity tomorrow, nothing go happen. You just do on your own. I can post any video. I can go to any media, and nothing will happen. Well, according to the Nigeria police, through not the Nigeria police, oh, uh, Prince Olumi Yewa Adejo B. Of course, you guys know this man now. He say he has a very high rank in the police. He said, "We can't ap apprehend all the criminals at once. At least appreciate us for the ones we have arrested. We arrest them on a daily basis in large numbers. The armed forces and the police are trying their best." Effort of security forces should be seen, noticed, and appreciated. We need to look towards having the collective effort and individualist involvement 
in tackling insecurity and other vice in Nigeria. One thing is sure, no criminal will go unpunished. Thank you. That is coming from uh, Prince. And they just took the light from here. Of course, we are still going to continue as usual because they're going to break the light. And, uh, you know, we are in Nigeria. So this is the normal situation in Nigeria. So as a Nigeria, you, want, you will not be surprised that they took light. So maybe uh, somebody from another country who has constant light will be like, ah, really, Adam Slee, they took light, no light. Well, it's not me. Blame my country. We have been passing through this normal stuff for the past, how many years now? 30-something, since when I was born. 30-something years. My father passed through it. I am passing through it. And I pray my kids do not pass through it. Understand? Do not wake up to say, Up oh, Nepal, like the way we did before. Do not stand up and say, Oh, off Nepal. All those kind of things. You understand? Anybody born in Nigeria do not understand the word. Up oh, Nepal. I don't think that person, eh, <laughs> he, he, that person was truly born in Nigeria. Because if you were born in Nigeria, you would understand the meaning of up Nepal. Even if you are from a very wealthy home, at least you would understand the meaning of up Nepal. You must have heard other Nigerians screaming up Nepal from afar. If you are living here, you would have heard it. Somebody screaming up Nepal. You understand? So the light is back now because we are in, uh, in, a, uh, in a hotel. So... Is back, they just put on the generator. So that being said, well, the police, the army are doing their best, but they need to work more. Because all those people are bold. They are really, really bold. People sending account to that one, I just, uh, they baffle me pass. So very dark man versus Jeremiah. This has been an issue for over the past few days now. After Jeremiah go bite, with he do suppose bite, by suing very dark man for the sum of one billion naira, which I am very, 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 very much in support of a very dark man. Very, very much in support of very dark man. Strongly, strongly in support of a very dark man. So, this is what is happening now. The guy went to Navdak. You know, it's good to do the right thing. It's not just by coming online and talking. Accuse somebody is good to do the right thing. He went to Navdak to complain, to lay an official complaint on that particular product. Hmm? Because the other day, Jeremiah was promoting such product that they can cure the blind, they can cure some sickness, they can do this and that. You understand? So, very dark man did the needful, went straight to, to one IDP camp in Nasarawa, and share the product. You know, allowed uh, all those uh, people with uh, uh, the disability to share the product, drink the product to check if indeed the product works. Unfortunately, that product no work for anybody. So that is to say, the product so far is fake. Hmm? That is to say, the product so far is fake. Abi, or should I say maybe there were no spiritual, no backup on that product, no faith <laughs> backup on that product. So I think the pastor is going to come court to defend himself that indeed, faith, there is faith, F-A-I-T. There is something called faith and it's going to prove faith in court. Let's see how it's going to prove there is faith in court. Let's see how it's going to prove it. You don't forget the court is blind. It doesn't see faith. Eh? What you want to see is evidence. Evidence. But unfortunately, you know, Nigeria court, they get out and they do their things. <laughs> you understand? They get out and they do their things. Well, however, this guy went to NAVDAC to submit official petition on that cap particular product. The NAVDAC have to explain how they give Jeremiah a NAVDAC number. You understand? They have to explain how they gave that man a NAVDAC number. So for me, like I said before, I am very much in support of very dark man on this particular matter. I support him wholeheartedly. Hello, very dark man. Very dark man. Very dark man. How many times I call you? 
This is the third time. I see what you do. You go and buy one pastor water and started giving people whether they will heal or not. You do the lie, very dark man. So you go and buy pastor water. You go and change the water. You change everything inside. Then you go and give people. You say that the work, the the water is not work. If he swear for you, if he swore, if if he swore for you, carry all those people. Go to that man's church. Let the man use his hand to give them the water. Whether they will not heal, whether they will heal. So that you will see the miracle of God. I the time that you will give them that water. Are you in very dark man? Are you in spirit? You the spirit. You have used the hand of sin to give the person will have problem with water. How the person will go heal? How the person go heal? They will never heal. So to take all those people, if you show for you, if you want to know the reality, take all those people to that man, church. Let the man of God use his own hand to give them the, the water, whether they will heal, whether they will not heal. So please stop. Very dark man, please stop the great man of God in the public. I don't like it. Okay, if you swear for you, if you swear for you, if you want to know the reality, talk, take all those people to that man's church. Let the man use his, the hand of Holy Spirit to give them the water, whether they will heal, whether they will not heal. So that is what you want, you're supposed to do. You don't need to be disgraced, man of God. Okay, God bless you. Do that immediately. God. Unfortunately, guys, uh, I kind of like agree with him partially. Understand? That's why I say the guy is going to prove it. It's not this man is not okay for calling out very dark man. But no, it's individual. Well, sorry, the, the man is okay. It's what a face like, you know, just the same way we have our own uh, rights to talk. The same way the guy has his own right to talk. It's what a face like. But the truth be saying, hmm, the man is right partially. If the man wants to prove that. His hand are way more holier than very dark man. The very dark man will bring those people to him so that he's going to heal all of them with that, well, with that product. He's going to use his only hand to give them that product so that they can heal. Abi? So problem solved. Let's see if he go feed one. Abi? But we are waiting.